How many Baptist churches do you think we have here in South Wales? Wow, that's a lot. And there are a lot of different shapes and styles and sizes too. Newer, older, more traditional, more modern and everything in between. So where are you? Jesus' prayer, prayer is that, that his church, church might, might be, be one. one. Jesus' answer is that there is actually only one church, one Great Commission, one hope, one Saviour and one Lord over all. Giving to Home Mission is a way of being part of the one church that Jesus is building right across this part of our nation. So when you support a new ministry or mission through Home Mission, you are here. And here. And here. And here. Places like this. This is York Place Baptist Church, right in the heart of Swansea City Centre. Your giving to Home Mission is a big part of this story. My dad is still a member of the church, uh, he's in his 90s. Myself and my twin sisters are both members of the church and we've always, this is the only church we've ever known. We were both married here. Um, my auntie, who would have been 100 last year, um, she's been a member of the church. My uh, other aunt was a member of the church. So every member of the family has always been involved. This church is a big part of my life, as I said. I don't know any different. I've never ever been to any other churches. Well, the church membership um, has been quite small for some time. Um, I, with a lot of churches, it's made up of uh, elderly or you know the old, older generation, myself included. Um, the pastor was well into his eighties when he retired. Um, so when he did retire. Um, the Baptist Union got involved and they suggested a partnership with another church which is Gendrus Baptist. Um, pastor there is John Evans and Anjig I think at the time was part-time there uh, and that was about three years ago. Uh, my name is Anjig Mianz. I'm originally from South Korea and uh, I used to work in Gendrus Baptist Church uh, for 18 and a half years. My colleague is John Evans and him and I working together um, a long time. But as three years ago uh, when uh, York Place Baptist Church was struggling, so we tried to find out uh, what kind of things you know, we can do and we started to pray and they were helping with um, the Baptist Union Association and then we try to work together. So three years ago, we have a partnership together. So um, last two years, and then we, uh, I, I was a part-time minister, but last year, really, I became a full-time minister, and then we really started to work here. Yes, yeah, so in the beginning of uh, York Place Church, you know, um, the, I have a heart, but it's, I don't know what to do. So I pray, and the first thing is, you know, the uh, International Department of Student Union contacted us, and then they want to do some alpha course in this venue. So we allow them to do it, and also we support uh, their ministry, because of, I, I was very delighted the young people tried to, to find out who Jesus is. Then since when they um, done the Alpha course, through that meeting I met a few international students and they started to come along in the morning service, but also um, some organizations, particularly they are helping for asylum seekers and refugees, they want to use the venue too. Suddenly this church is a hub to come along all nations. So we don't need to go out outside to bring the people, but organizations that bring the asylum seekers, refugees and foreigners. We are as a church, we 
to help them and support them. And through those meetings, we build a relationship together. So from this year, January, we made a um, intercultural worship service. Half past four started. Then we can invite them. But suddenly they are started to come along our church. We share the God's word and share the food, and we also listen their strugglings and their sufferings. So um, at the moment, it's a 45 and 50 people. They are coming in, in the afternoon intercultural service. I mean, we've got so many different uh, cultures here um, Hong Kong, Uganda, India, Korean, Sudan. Um, and they've all just made their way for whatever reason, you know, walk past God's calling to, to this church. It's, it's a very informal meeting. Um, they talk their own language when they pray in. Um, there's a meal after, there's children running around. Uh, it, it's wonderful to see them. But also Honduras family, you know, as asylum seeker here, and they want to do something, mission, those people who speaking in Spanish. Also, th there are some other people who use in Arabic. So I'm working with very closely uh, my colleague who, who, who is from Syria. So he is a, like a link person to work together with sharing God's word with those people who can speak Arabic. So some Muslim friends, they are attending our afternoon service. That is fantastic. We've got a big schoolroom upstairs. It's, it's used as a storage, but we've got a lot of um, clothes and toys and things like that, that if people come in and they're in need of, you know, a coat or something, there's, there's clothing and, and there's all sorts of things there for them. Um, and Jig has been brilliant when organising all this. There's, there's so many people now who, who use this church. Asylum seekers and refugees, you know, they are, are really seeking something help. So I just be with them. Sometimes I introduce my, our congregation to do something in their God work. But that encourages them to contact us and we build a relationship through that. Also through the organization's work, dropping and build together and talk, they really uh, come to us as a friend. And then we slowly have um, more opportunities have to share the God's word. So though some people really seeking, you know, who is a real God? In the name of Jesus, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Our uh, home mission's help is really, really value in this church because um, there are some Welsh congregation there and they will they support financially, but most of the foreigners and the silent school refugees attending our church, but they they receiving greatly and also they want to give back to the church but they can't but without the home mission support you know my ministry and our church's ministry really uh, will be struggle and wobbly so the, that home mission support is not only financially also link and the support for one another is really help and encourage to carry on. So we, the great, we have a great potential to reach out more people because where we are. Home mission has, 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 has saved this church. This church is never empty. There's always something going on here. It, it's used to its full potential. Every bit of that money is used for God's glory here. Your giving to Home Mission is a big part of this story. You are part of this. You are here. Together we can participate as one church in Jesus' mission. Thank you for all your giving, connecting, supporting 
and praying.